Yo, what is up, my people? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm here with my boy. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it's been a long time since we did the video. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> it's been a long time since we did the last video. I don't know. And I know I literally like we literally just recorded one video and I didn't record the screen, so there's no way I'm gonna get that video back. And I literally just didn't. Yeah. It hurt me like. A, I we said a lot of things in the video. Yeah, it was like a 15 minutes video yeah. actually. And to watch the video all over again, nah. Uh, nah, the reaction is gonna yeah, be too fake. I don't like doing fake reactions, you know. But today, uh, me, so this, like right now, we came up with another day. We're gonna be reacting to rappers walking out of interviews. So this is basically like American rappers, I yeah, would American say. Yeah, American rappers, yeah. So basically, they're just gonna have like an interview. Maybe they get upset with some questions or I don't yeah. know, whatever it is. Put some respect, respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. Put some, <laughs> put some respect to my name, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. When rappers walk out of interviews. Then how do you know him? I rock with him. He's a record hitter. Just from different areas. And how did you connect with him? How did you discover his music? I feel like I felt like he's one of me. So, you know, everything falls in place. For the place. Look, man. Yes, call that black. <laughs> you see how the nigga talk. <laughs> Flurry that. <laughs> see how this nigga talk. Oh. You know, everything falls in place. Fall in place. <laughs> Fall in place. <laughs> yeah, he's like, everything's falling in place. in place. It's my guy. Look, man, at this point, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Um, You know. At this point, not the interview. Bro. Hey, bro. Bring this up, call that black. Ah, recent Rah. man, I'm saying this Ebro, yeah. Every interview, this guy have to take a piece of someone. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Man, you Jesus see, you Christ. see, you see the song, um, the song, the song sixteen six nine with um, what's his name? The guy that's in jail, the one that hot hot nigga. Uh, uh Bob Schmurler. Bob Schmurler. Yeah, so basically, Did you say something about yeah, on on six nine was like. Uh, on on this song, he was like, "That nigga Ebro, he a bitch, just another." Oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was it was directed to him because maybe he said yeah, something. Yeah, because he's a disgrace. Let me just <laughs> say. That's what I'm looking at all your your cases and everything you've been through, and I know the recent one right now is very sensitive. And with respect to you know everybody involved in that case, you know we can't get into details today. Um, but you know we take sexual assault here serious. What? Why, why we, are you bringing man, this up? Man, look. Kodak Black is on probation. That's the first thing. If you say something about this, everything you say, they can use on court for him. Yeah, exactly. So, and this guy said, no, we're not trying to be this, but, oh, no, 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 but we take this in there. So, you, you uh -huh. tell it, this guy, wait a second, this guy first is telling you that he's not going to talk about this conversation now he's bringing up again. You know, you know. Yo, well, what's, what's the point? Then? No what's respect. the point of you saying all of this and then you'll you, you, you be like, oh, I know, like, I don't want to be disrespectful, this and that, but you bring your sex with, like, are you, are you okay, bro? Can't, you know, uh, get into details, but we hope, you know, to have you back so we can have a, a deeper conversation about that because, you know, it's a serious topic and we're hearing these stories a lot. <laughs> he's faced, though. He's, um, he's faced. He's super one thing we were talking about in the show today that for some reason I just have a hunch that you would care about. The idea that landing on the moon was a conspiracy. <laughs> Somebody's is trying to change conversation <laughs> because he saw his face, bro. I'm telling you, call that play. He's not playing, man. I'm telling you, bro. Hold, on, you gonna... hold on a second. My mind went from uh, saucer, <laughs> no, sex to Se assault, yeah, to landing on the moon. <laughs> He's a conspiracy. <laughs> this thing is a fuck up. Nah, you guys are fucking up, bro. bro. How do you, yo, I, I understand you changed the topic, but come on, come on, man. Something else, bro. At least talk about music or something. Yeah, shit. come on. How is it going? Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> At least talk about music. Kodak, you believe that our moon landing in 1969 actually took place? Kodak King is so frustrated, as you see in his facial expression. So definitely, obviously. What the fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's my nigga, bro. What the fuck he talking about? <laughs> Yo, fuck, exactly. Bro. Imagine like you have one topic, and then in the next minute, someone <laughs> else is talking. <laughs> and then in the next minute, someone else is talking about moon landing, bro. Are you serious? I swear, <laughs> man. <laughs> Do you believe it? I don't know. I don't. Bro. I don't know what to I believe. Don't believe I swear. Nothing in this world. 
These are just movies. Movies have has a lot of stuff. <laughs> They're laughing, but he's not. It's not funny. You seem upset that I brought it up. <laughs> this guy wants fire, bro. No, man, he bro, bro. Come on. Bro. Maybe he doesn't like him, bro. I don't know. No, no he doesn't. He really. Maybe doesn't he doesn't like, like him for some. He, he doesn't like no rappers, bro. You uh, don't know that, bro. That's his problem. Look, look, the face. Look, look. Jesus Christ. He's gonna I feel fall. like. <clears throat> Sometimes when niggas like be going through shit, like I'll be entertained by cool shit. You know what I'm talking about? For real, man. Change the subject, man. Gonna walk out. He said he's gonna walk out. We'll change which subject? Cause whatever, like. Well, so they tried to change the subject. They was talking about the moon landing. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's of course, that's bullshit, bullshit bro. Of course, Come on. that's bullshit. No. Well, I was saying, I, I think we I don't think... have to talk about nothing else. We could be done right here. All right. Come on. Okay, say no more, man. Bye. You stupid. Stupid ass, uh, nigga. I don't know. Oh, you won't tell me what. No, your balls. The balls. I was. I was actually saying, the bigger the bill, the harder you ball. Oh, <laughs> like balling. Went from the interviews from the beginning, very probably getting cut in the tracks with the rest of the words. So much more sense. Here in Denmark. Uh, most people still know you from your smash hit in the club. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bruv, he's telling that Wiz Khalifa made, uh, made the music in the club, but that's Fifth Sense song. He's saying, how, how can you explain me the music uh, in the club? You know, the, the Fifth Sense. Yeah. 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 So it's confusing Fifth Sense and Wiz Khalifa. What the hell? Can you how? tell me the story about that hit? What song is that? <laughs> 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 Nigga, go back to your country, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's French. Look at what he's speaking. Isn't that how it goes? That's not me. <laughs> it's not you? Oh, that's that's embarrassing. Okay, I'm, I, I nah, just think we should. Nah, bro. This, maybe he was trying yeah. to take a piss. Like, yeah, all no, the people laughing taken... in the background. No, no, let's, let's, let's see. Maybe he was doing it yeah. on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. <laughs> You're originally from Pittsburgh? Yeah. How was it growing up in Canada? <laughs> yeah, that again. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's trolling. No. He's definitely trolling, but you can see that he's trolling. Nah. Dumbass? Yeah. yeah. Like... Oh, it's just because, you know, Pittsburgh, they have this hockey team that you like. <laughs> now, I thought, I thought it was in Canada. <laughs> You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you? No. You just wear a suit just to look like you know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. But you don't know shit. We kind of have the same style. No, because I know. No. Uh, yeah, but you know. Just do it off, man. It's over. <laughs> it's over. So, that's it. It's over. That's I, I it. also really have to go now. You uh, <laughs> do have to go. Nah! Now. No, that's no, no, no. They're taking a piece. They're taking a piece. No, 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 no. Yeah, this guy was. Do you like, think no rap is gonna let someone talk to them like that? No, no, man, no, no, no. But it was, you know, bad. That, that was bad. Not, no, no, it's good. Thank you, bro. Gucci asked about Waka Flocka during the break and kept controlling his anger, which resulted in walking off the interview. Jesus. Oh, you're the beef. Ah, during the break. Oh, it was during the break? Yeah. How come he? Alright, well, they're doing nothing to do it. No, the dude over here, the dude that was sitting right here, he said, he, I got something I need to see him by a second time. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, ah, okay, okay. That was, but that was, the, yeah, that was, it was like during the break. Mm -hmm. So obviously, we can't record it. They, uh, they didn't record it because maybe the camera was recorded or they didn't just put the final cut in it. Mm -hmm. So basically, the only thing that Gucci Gucci saw, or like, no, the, only, the last reaction was this like, he literally just was like, don't never do it again, and he walks out. The dude Listen. over here, the dude that was sitting right here, he said, he, I got something I need to see him by a certain time. Oh, he saw the camera, he saw the camera. Exactly. I think he saw the camera. Yeah. Okay. We're doing, we're about to go back on the air right now. It was like, don't never do that again. Oh, and he walks out. What the hell was that? Don't never do that again. Nigga was fat this yeah, time. Yeah, man. Have you seen him? Yeah, he's money. He, he got like, you know, white teeth and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Machine gun. In the Midwest, so like, everyone's like...
yeah. there's me. You know what I mean? Like, what's up? Here to pick my kid up. Like, it's so. I wanted to make her talk so far, he said that's what she did to get any emotion and more. Proud, you know what I mean? And a lot of fans saw that as like, you know, it was a soft or just it's just like, no, it's the most it's the most beautiful thing you could do. This is my I'm not it's this is my gift as a as a father to my daughter. Like here's something like you can listen to that like still has my pain in it and still like is teaching you something that I want you to know. So I to me that was, you know, I'm not that great of a speaker. I can't speak. I'm, I don't like watching my own interview. I think I suck at talking. But like, one thing I can do is move my pen. And like, if that's how I got to speak to my daughter, then like, let me do that. I, I, you, I, 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 dude, I've done this so many times. If we, just, I don't want to do an interview, man. Can, I, can we just do, like, I don't. MGK. Like, I'm gonna let my music speak, man. I don't have shit to say. I've been saying listen. shit for years, dude. Like, man, y'all don't listen. Like, I, listen to my fucking songs. MGK, listen, I love you. Can I tell you something? Wait, listen, listen, we're so excited for your music. Love. 2019. Thank you. 18. What's your message to your fans? I'm coming. Man, message to my enemies. I'm coming. Bruh. I'm always getting so emotional because. Yeah. I mean, but, but, but by doing that, it's showing people he's weak, bro. I mean, bro, you get me? Sometimes when it comes, for example, to someone that you actually like, you know, care about or feel uh -huh. like you uh, love, yeah, you know, it's true, it's true. It brings you down. Yeah, it brings you down, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, it's it's so much, it's so much more than just actually like, you know, haters. They all know that like, I would say like the rappers don't really care about haters. Like haters can talk, 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 but they keep doing their things. Yeah. Keep breaking records, yeah, making their true. money. You know, do that everything. But when it comes, for example, yeah. you know him talking about his daughter, like yeah. it's 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 you get like emotional. It's, you got emotional. You get emotional, of course. That's the thing. Like it's because he he was literally talking about his daughter. Like you know he he made him emotional. That's it. Yeah. But that's the thing, bro. But <laughs> Jesus Christ, and that. Wait, did um, what's his name, Birdman? Did he walk out of the interview? Was he walked out, right? I but I, I literally don't don't understand who was it, but so it was Charlemagne, the Char guy, Charlemagne, Charlemagne. The, you know Charlemagne, no? yeah, Charlemagne the God. So yeah. no, they was always talking about, but it wasn't. I think it wasn't the Breakfast Club. It was Rick Ross, because Rick Ross, you know Rick Ross and Lil Wayne, they had a issue with him because uh, Birdman was. With the Lil Wayne money, yeah, he didn't scamming, pay, yeah, scamming him and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Rick Ross went to the interview and he started talking about Birdman and this stuff. Then Birdman went to the interview saying, "Why are you guys talking about us?" No, no, no. Put some respect on my name, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, and the respect on my name. And the Charlemagne was like, "No, why you don't speak that to to Rick Ross, the one that was here talking?" Yeah, and he goes, he just left. Just yeah. put some respect on my name. Of course. That's all he said, put some respect on my name. And then yeah, and he left. left. The interview yeah. was like less than five minutes. <laughs> Best interview ever, man. Nah. Just waste the content. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you no, all for watching. Actually, they didn't no. waste the content. That got bad views. Man. Yeah. But it was just like a little bit. But if it was one hour, you can put like 10 ads in one video and make a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Still. Okay guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Also, give it a thumbs up for me. Don't I'm forget back. to subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Um, I told him already and I think I'm going to change the name of the channel for me and him because we're going to be more consistent in uploading right now. Yeah. We have a lot of time, I would say. We do have yeah, time. Yeah, we have time now. A lot. We have time, so we're basically going to, you know, be uploading more Keep often. Grinding. I would say. Of course. So, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe and uh, see you later. Take it easy fam and peace. peace. <laughs>